LG Optimus Black Preview expected first half of 2011. At first glance, the LG Optimus Black looks almost exactly like dozens of other black slabby Android phones, and to a very large extent, that is all it is. But LG have packed something a bit different into the Optimus Black, and it's something that might just give forthcoming LG smartphones the edge over the competition. The main selling point with the Optimus Black is its screen. It uses LG's Nova technology to give a clear bright display, and crucially it uses significantly less power in everyday use to rival OLED panels. LG say that the Nova display is designed to be the brightest and most readable panel on the market, with higher levels of brightness, high contrast and pure whites that can be used indoors or in direct sunlight. Critically, LG claim that the Nova display reduces power consumption by 50% during indoor use and uses much less energy than an AMOLED display when displaying a full white background. And this translates to longer battery life, which most Android users would agree can be a real issue. The display is a 4-inch unit, and although LG haven't confirmed it, we suspect that it's a standard 800 by 480 pixel resolution. Inside is a fairly large 1500 mAh battery, and the LG Optimus Black is just 9.2mm thick and weighs only 109 grams, which is impressive for a device with such a large screen. One other novel feature is Wi-Fi Direct, which allows Wi-Fi enabled devices to communicate with each other directly, which will make things like file transfers and printing much easier to do. We don't know what camera it has on the back, but the Optimus Black does come with a 2 megapixel front-facing camera for video calls. Earlier Android phones lack video calling, but it still hasn't really taken off in a big way. Perhaps things will change in 2011? Who knows? The LG Optimus Black will ship with Android 2.2 Froyo out of the box, with an early upgrade to Android 2.3 Gingerbread promised. There's no word on pricing, but LG do say that the Optimus Black will be rolled out worldwide during the first half of 2011.